Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, um, I noticed that typically what I do for the world tour for new, like, you know, Dokkan Fest exclusives or LRs or major EZAs, something like that. Like, I'll take them into, like, one stage of, like, pretty much every event, right? Like, I'll do an Extreme Super Battle Road, we'll do Legendary Goku event, we'll do the God event, and we'll do, like, a normal Super Battle Road stage, because typically uh, there's normal Super Battle Road stages that these characters can fight in that is not an extreme Super Battle Road stage yet. Well, Videl, the three stages she could do, Peppy Gals, Majin Buu Saga, and then Super Class, are all extreme Super Battle Road stages as well. So I'm not gonna take Videl into normal Super Battle Road, and we're just gonna do the extreme Super Battle Road stage of all three. Now, I believe at this point, um, I've already taken Videl into Peppy Gals extreme Super Battle Road. Today, we're gonna do the Super Class stage, which is very tough. I am, Obviously going to use the, you know, Majin Buu slash Battle of Wits team. We're bringing PyCon and Vegito Blue from Battle of Wits. Um, and then again, we'll probably also do the Majin Buu Saga stage as well. Because uh, the Majin Buu Saga stage has one of the single strongest enemies in the game. Now, I brought the Videl support memory because Videl does have a weakness, right? Like, you could sit there and pretend she's perfect all you want to. Oh, who needs links and stuff if you're doing a billion, billion, zillion, trillion damage? Well, that's cool when you're going through Dokkan events and easy infinite drama history stages. But when you're going into, like, extreme Super Battle Road and stuff like that, it doesn't work where she just does, oh, she's doing four million three times. She's so good. It's like the links will hurt her and bring the team down around her. And it, it definitely can be an issue if you don't have the right setup, right? That's why I'm bringing the Videl support memory, uh, which will give Boo Saga allies two key for the first two turns. Now, what I probably want to do, honestly, is get Videl and Ultimate Gohan together. They're a pretty strong setup, the two of them together. It's probably what we're going to go ahead and do. Um, and then outside of that, I'm not really too sure how we're going to operate this. Um, I do want to make sure. I guess we'll just go for Frieza and just get rid of Frieza. That, that'll probably be a good idea. Um... Yeah, this is actually working out very well. Okay, I'm gonna hit Frieza with uh, Kibito Kai. And then we can go ahead and hit Togoma. That's gonna give us a support type buff. Oh wait, damn it, I didn't use an item. No! Oh, okay, we, we might be bowing out very quick. I, I was intending in my head to use a Princess Sink as well. We're dead, okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like, again, like people go crazy. Oh, Vegito Blue is the god of everything. It's like, yeah, he's very good, but you know, that, that can happen. Oh, dude, I don't... All right, give me two seconds. I, we're just leaving all this in. God damn it. I, I'm going to keep that in there just because, I mean, it is interesting to see that's the difficulty of Extreme Super Battle Road right there. Like, again, you could say these units are so good all you want to, but there are weaknesses that can be exposed for pretty much all of these units, right? None of them, except for UI Goku. AGL UI Goku is the only unit who is just like has no weakness. He's just perfect in every way, right? All right, so we'll just go ahead and hop back in. Just had to restock up on my film reels, of course. Um, okay. Uh, what's funny is like, last, like, rotation, it was way worse for us, right? Because we had Videl with the Goku and Vegeta. They weren't really going to get too much buffs. Again, Videl's support memory kicks in, and it's very, very helpful. Let's get Videl off rotation. We do want to get her along... Or, uh, let's get Gohan off rotation. We want to get her with Videl. I'm going to do the same thing here, except... I just, I, in my head, in last time, I was thinking, I'm about to do the the Nurse Chi Chi, but then I just, I just forgot to use the Nurse Chi Chi right at the end there. It's fine, it's fine. I'm too busy blabbering away at the mouth to get the Nurse Chi Chi uh, item use in right there. Because, like, Vegito Blue, if you give Vegito Blue a little bit of extra cover for defense, he will absolutely demolish. And then, like, he could take a super attack if, like, he's, if he double or triple supers, giving himself a lot of defense. Um, but, you know, he, he's a really good offensive unit who, honestly, I, I would say he's good enough defensively for how good he is offensively. But it's like putting him in slot one, there is a lot of risk since he gets so much defense on super. Are you kidding me? Okay. Back-to-back -back runs. Shisame supers Vegito Blue right at the start. How funny. Uh, I wanted to just aim and get rid of Frieza. So I even aimed. Oh, nice. So they actually did crit. So I just aimed at Frieza with Goku and Vegeta to do this, right? To go ahead and, and uh, just smack them around. Um, now we'll see what Videl is. Oh, nice. Beautiful. It worked out beautiful. Oh, okay. Another type disadvantage super attack. Beautiful. Love it. I love that for me. <laughs> okay. Sure. 
Uh, let's hope that they aim pretty much all of their attacks right at the start of the rotation, is what we're really hoping for. Good, Freeze is out of here. Um, <laughs> Alright, so... We, even without the Videl support memory, we would have been able to super attack no matter what. But do keep in mind, uh, one of the main reasons for this, of course, is because we just got lucky with, with Key right there. Um, we'll keep Kabito Kai around for now, since that will give us a uh, Cold Judgment, right? So she's only going to have Fierce Battle and Cold Judgment right here. Um, let's see. So she's up to 180k defense. She's not going to have any dodging or anything like that on this turn, but she is going to do quite a bit of damage in a very meaningful way. I'm going to go ahead and hit Shisame um, to potentially steal or uh, seal or stun him. And then we'll just have Goku and Vegeta just, you know, going from left to right, demolish. All right. So even without getting the extra 58% attack buff she can get from being hit before she attacks, or even without being super effective against all types from dodging before she attacks, She's still able to do a huge output of damage. And defensively, she is a juggernaut, right? Like, especially if she can super multiple times before she attacks. Like, right there, her defense was, like, probably well over 250k with the double super attacks, right? So, like, Videl contributes a lot. Like, you, like people, I feel like, get too caught up in Videl's damage to the point where they're just not properly assessing how good she is defensively. Videl is very good defensively. It's just, like, she is still hurting the team in terms of, like, her links and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna keep Pycon uh, on rotation, I think, is what we're gonna do right here. Uh, do I risk this? Do I risk it for the biscuit right here? I don't know. Should I? <laughs> Pycon is tough. I mean, let's do it. Let's risk it. I'm going to be annoyed if Pycon dies right here, but I'm going to risk it. Okay, that's a dodge. And then one more dodge. Yup, Pycon. Pycon! Dab it on him. Get Gogeta out here. I do like Pycon and then LR, Goku, and Vegeta as a rotation. They're pretty good, right? You know, super effective against all types. Guaranteed seal. Greatly lowering attack. Uh, supporting... 50% chance to dodge, good defense. Like, PyCon does do a lot. And then, obviously, LR, Goku, and Vegeta can carry a whole bunch of damage and stuff like that. Um, like, even if PyCon cannot... Like, really, the weakest aspect of PyCon probably is his damage. But, like, he's doing so much else that I'm... Like, I feel like his low damage numbers are okay. Right? It's not the biggest deal. All right, so here's where this Videl support memory again comes in clutch. I've been going crazy about this support memory for a reason, and that it is very, very helpful if you're going to be running characters like Videl. Like, there's no... It's not a coincidence. They released this support memory right now because it is so good for Videl and Ultimate Gohan. For real. It helps them out so much. Now, yet again, we got screwed. This is the thing. Again, each unit has strengths. There's like pros. It's like global versus JP. There's pros and cons to each version, right? Like global's got a lot of, you know, units that are better. You know, the PyCon equips are better. The tickets, the discounts. JP oftentimes gets, you know, faster fixes for bugs. Um, tends to uh, get better compensation. You know, like there's pros and cons for each version, right? Well, each unit has the same thing. We're not maximizing the damage with Videl by pure RNG because they're not attacking before Videl is attacking. So it's limiting the extreme amount of damage she would do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put Gohan first. Well, no, I'm not because, yeah, I need I need to have Videl first to give her these STR orbs. I wanted to put Videl in front of all those hits right there where I'm very confident after she double supers with no items active or anything, she would be dominant defensively right there and I could prove it against all those hits but the problem is if I did that I wouldn't be able to super with her so there's again there's her her key links and Gohan's key links coming into play right uh hurting her for real um who do we want to get rid of first we can't be super effective against all types because she's not going to dodge before she hits uh what if we just go for Bergamo we will be able to do tremendous damage to him. Um, oh, really? Uh, damn it. This is a, a mistake. That's a misplay. Uh, we'll just do this. 
and then we could die here. I'll hit Frost, since Frost is the main hit. I, I messed up. I could I definitely could have gotten a super attack with Gohan as well. I shouldn't I should have just taken two orbs for Videl. And I, I think I could have given that rainbow orb to Gohan to give him three key. It's okay. Um I hopefully Gohan will double super for us though. That would be very good. Because I want him to get that defensive increase in front of all those hits. Okay. Yep, double digits, double digits. Again, that's that's there's no items being used or anything. That's just Videlzy. Oh, Gohan, yes. Yeah, sorry, Gohan is fine. One super attack with Gohan in Extreme Super Battle Road, and usually he's defending very well, just like that. Perfect. Uh, Kabito Kai could take a lot of damage from a super attack from hit, but it would not kill us in one hit, right? So we'll be okay. Uh, and then Frost is not an issue, and then they dodge. Yep, they're great. Kabito Kai is an amazing unit. Uh, okay, so we'll do this. We... No, 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 this. We can... Get Pycon's full abilities. I guess let's just go for hit. Let's just get hit out of here. Yeah, yeah. I, I like I like the idea of doing that. Just eliminating hit. Uh, we can't get a rainbow orb though. Damn it. Uh, it's fine. I'm gonna do this, and just to make sure I don't need to use an item here for sure. Actually, I'm not gonna. I don't even. I I literally don't need to use an item. Well, yeah, because Frost is sealed or attack debuff. Is he sealed? No, he's stunned. Yeah, okay. I, I don't need to use an item right here. Um, and we'll just go for hits. Uh, I do need to keep a lot of key for Videl and Gohan next turn. Uh, Gohan will be a little bit better, because remember that Gohan does build key each turn. Uh, that's a good mechanic they could have given to Videl as well. Again, I, my... Personally, what I think they should have done with Videl is given her... She should have given... Like, even if it's just super class allies. Like, make Videl exactly as is. Same shitty links, same lack of teams, all that. Fine. But then have her give, in her passive, just add one line. Super class allies plus two key. That's all she needs. If she gets that, oh, she's beautiful. That's amazing, right? Because a rotation of her and ultimate Gohan is great, but, like, you're only sharing cold judgment and fierce battle between the two units, right? But, like, you know, he's a, a defensive wall. She can carry all of the damage by herself, basically. Um, and then Gohan... It's activating her unit super and also giving her access to her active skill and stuff like that. Um, okay, so... Oh, actually. Here, let's heal up. Uh, yeah, here's here's the issue with her, for real. Um, is this right here. Uh, see, the problem is that I'm in super class, extreme super battle road. I could not have... Like, high school Gohan is usually my go-to. Like, when I do the Boo Saga Sage, High School Gohan is going to be on the team, right? Um, but I couldn't do that here for the stage because you have to have one of every typing, right? So, I like, High School Gohan would be fantastic to give her a little bit of key support. We're not going to be able to get double supers right here. It's unfortunate. It is what it is, but there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, she is going to get one super, but it's just very disappointing. That's why you see why I brought the Videl support memory, which activates for the first two turns. But we just got unlucky right here. Again, it happens with Videl. Like, she's not perfect. Um, I guess I could I could have done the Videl and Android 18 rotation and then brought one of the Krillins. I could have done that as well. Because both AGL Krillin... Actually, AGL Krillin, LR Krillin, <clears throat> and Tech Krillin are all on uh, Battle of Wits. LR Krillin would have been an, an interesting pick here. But, I, I mean, the problem is that I can't use STR-18, again, on this super class stage, because the leader is already STR, right? And then this is definitely the ideal. I mean, maybe we could... I could have brought a Peppy Gal team into this. Double Videl. Maybe we could have done that. All right, um, right. Let's just get rid of Hit. She is at least going to double super attack. But, again, where she's super ultra sexy, amazing god of the game is when she's double supering. Like, even one super attack by her is good damage. But again, where she becomes queen of Dokkan, it's a nice dodge, Videl. She has 50% chance to dodge right there. Thanks, girl. <laughs> All right, I guess that not being able to double super didn't really hurt us right there since we finished off hit anyway. But, I mean, it's still good to show. And again, that's still really good damage. She, for some reason, did not dodge any hit, so it wasn't super effective against all types. But, like, a 4 million attacks right there is still good. Right? But again, where she's, like, better than Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, 
better than in Dokkan Fest Broly is when she's getting the doubles, the guaranteed double supers. That's what's so powerful. Two guaranteed super attacks, especially that could potentially be super effective against all types. It's just, it's so strong. Like, she just looks so good. Um... If we don't... Oh, okay. That that probably will allow Goku and Vegeta to finish off next turn. I was just going to say, if we don't finish them off right here... Uh, I'm going to fuse with uh, Kabito Kai right here uh, to give the passive enemy attack debuff. But if we did not fin if we don't finish the enemies off in this turn, I probably actually will use Fidel's active skill, um, which, remember, does give a permanent debuff um to her defense which is not good i am not a fan of that at all but it does give her massive attack gains um i really think for the most part you don't ever want to use her active skill videl already does too much damage um her defense is too good already like you, you don't want to set like she's so balanced so good defensively you don't want to sacrifice the defense she has just to squeeze out a little bit more damage when she's already doing more than enough damage with the guaranteed double super attacks, right? I don't think it's smart to do that. So you definitely don't want to go that route and instead just don't even use the active skill at all. I think is the ideal way to do it. We are going to pop the active skill here though, just I guess to get it in. Oh, well, he got stunned as well. Okay, this is a perfect opportunity of a turn to use her active skill, I guess. Although we're going to miss our first super attack again. Um, I guess this is this is a good video to show her strength. Like, we're missing super attacks left and right. Key is definitely an issue with the lack of links. And I'm not really running support type units either. Because, again, it's easy for Videl to look good when you're rocking 60 support type units on the, the team, right? But you go into some of these Super Battle Road stages like this, Super Class, Extreme Super Battle Road, it's not really... It, it, you're not bringing 60 support type units, right? Um... Okay, well, she's still going to finish uh, um, Automageta off, uh, even with just this one super attack. Th again, this is a perfect example of where the active skill can be good, um, is like she wasn't even going to take a hit here anyway, so we're able to pop the active skill, get the extra damage, and she just incinerates Automageta right there. Goodbye. See ya. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, um... Looks like we're going to be able to get a Dokkan attack with Videl, provided we have enough key for her. Oh, we, we well, with the Videl support memory activated, we definitely will. I do love these little support memory animations. And the fact that you could just click you could just click the screen and it skips the animation too. Very, very well done. Okay, um. Alright, we'll do PyCon and slot one. I'm actually, I'm just not gonna play around. I'm just gonna do a uh nurse Chi Chi right here. I don't even want to take the risk that we could die. Uh, let me hit uh, Zamasu with the debuff. I want to save the Dokkan attack for Videl. Oh, look at that. Perfect. We're going to save the Dokkan attack for Videl. Let me go ahead and hit uh, Goku Black. And then we are going to hit Zamasu right there. All right. So Videl is going to use a Dokkan attack. And she's going to completely neutralize, uh, I think, both Goku Black and Zamasu on this next turn. I mean, she's going to double super attack regardless. Especially because, like... It, I've found, like, these fights, like, Goku Black, they're hitting so much that the chances we get super effective against all types and her maximum attack buff by being hit before she attacks, the chances of that happening on this next turn with the Dokkan attack are very high. I mean, a super effective against all types, maybe close to 5 million attacks that super attack, Dokkan attack, she's gonna wipe the floor with these enemies for sure. I really probably should have aimed all my attacks at Zamasu. Um to ensure that Videl finishes Zamasu off with her uh, uh, Dokkan attack. And then... Oh, I, I Actually, I, I think Videl definitely will be able to finish him off. And then her second super... Oh, oh, that's it, Vegito Blue? You loser? Hello? Thanks. Okay. This is probably GG, honestly. I, I, I don't imagine they're surviving this. Uh, I mean, let's see. I will be able to super with everyone. And then, just to make sure uh, Kabito Kai don't get killed, let's also attack Goku Black. All right. Let's see what we do. Uh, well, I was just... Wow, we got so unlucky during this run. It happens uh, in terms of her... Like, she was... They were never attacking at, in the first slot to where she got super effective against all types or her extra damage. Like, her attacks at 2.65 right there. It could be so much higher. But, again, there's RNG in how Videl works. 
right? You need enemies to attack before she does in order for her to be utilizing her full power. Yeah, like, if she had, was super effective against all types with the extra attack, like, she would have demolished them. Like, she did good damage, but I don't know. This this was, a, like, Videl looked good in this run, but, like, clearly the Videl support memory helped. We missed several super attacks. Several turns we were not able to get her full attack passive to, to really establish, because, like, when she just does a two super attacks where she's at, like, 2.6 million. Okay, two super attacks at, like, 2.6 million. I feel like what Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta does is more impressive than, that. Like, like, on this turn right here, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta would have been better on this exact turn. Um, the other thing is that, remember, it's nigh impossible for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to, to, to ever miss a super attack, right? Because he gives himself four key for the first, what is it, eight turns or six turns or something? So, like, that's the thing. Like, Videl can look more impressive, but I feel like this this video was good to show her weaknesses. Um, and you could say, like, oh, you didn't, you didn't run a great setup for her, but it's like, well, I mean, running her with Ultimate Gohan definitely does work. And it's like, in this stage, specifically Superclass ES, EX SBR... Right? Like, I, I did want to run this. I think running Peppy Gal slash Ally of Justice, Defender of Justice, in this stage would have worked as well. Then we could have easily gotten Android 18 in here with double Videl and then 18. But still, I think this did highlight the weaknesses that Videl does have, right? Because you're not always able to run a team full of supports in every event, right? That's not how it works. And Videl is a unit who is designed to look real great when Kid Buu is there, giving her key and attack, and, you know, a lot of these characters, you know, maybe like Supremo Pie of Time and her own team, or High School Gohan, a lot of these characters giving her key and stuff like that, and she goes crazy, but, you know, a lot of times, the lack of links hurt her, the lack of key hurts her without a uh, good RNG, so, let me know what you guys think, thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.